Hi, this is Melanie for Pardesi Reviews. I'm here to do a review of the Malayalam and Hindi film, Mutan or the Elder One, starring Niven Pali. If you're new to Pardesi Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. I have been wanting to see this film for so long, ever since I heard it was being made. This film was premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. It's been making the circuit of other film festivals for the last couple of years. It did play in some select theaters. I think it did play in Kerala last fall, finally, but it never played in Chicago. This weekend, it's released on Z5 in India. But unfortunately, we don't have Z5 in the United States. And thank you, thank you, thank you to a certain kind viewer who made it possible for me to see this film this weekend. Oh my gosh, so amazing. All right, this review is going to have a spoiler-free section and I'm gonna make a few comments at the end in a spoiler section. Please do not watch the entire thing if you don't know anything about this film. I you know, knew that Niven Pauly was doing this gritty part. I knew that this was something unusual for him, but I didn't know all the twists, all the revelations that were gonna happen. And I want you to have the same experience that I did of wonderment and amazement and just like, wow, <laughs> you know? So Niven, this is a career best performance for him. It is incredible. He goes places he's never gone before. And I am just in awe of the range that he showed in this two hour film. Gitu Mahandas, she's a filmmaker who is an expat. I think she grew up in both Malaysia and Canada. So I watched the Q and A after the premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. And she talked about how wonderful it was for the premiere to happen in Canada. It's, it has two settings in the film. There is these islands off the west coast of India. Lakshadweep has evidently a spoken dialect a little bit different than what would be spoken in Kochi, for instance. Niven and Pauly said in this Q&A that they had dialect coaches so that they got the dialect right from these islands and also because half of the film takes place in Mumbai where he is a crime lord <laughs> known just as Bai and and so the dialogues that were in Hindi were written by Anurag Kashyap who was a producer on the film. Rajiv Ravi, who is husband of Gitu Bhandis, uh, was the director of photography or, on the film. I just found the subject matter of the film. We have this young uh, teen who is growing up in this idyllic setting of this island. Raised, I think an uncle, Delish Potan is playing this uncle, Musa. This is a orphan child. The mother is dead. This teen, Mullah, wants to seek out his elder brother who left the island years ago and went to Bombay. He <laughs> has this incredible journey of searching for his elder brother, the elder one. And the Elder One is what the uh, international title in English is for all these film festivals. I, this child actor, actor, Sanjana, was, so much of the film is the reactions of this child through their eyes, all the things that they're seeing, all that they're experiencing. And I think this was a child that had never acted before. Amazing. New and Pauly had his, Right hand man is Salem, which is played by Shashank Aurora from Made in Heaven. And then uh, Shashank's castmate, Sobata Dulapala, plays a character, Rosie. She plays this prostitute. In the Q&A from uh, the TIFF uh, premiere, she talked about how much she wanted this part to the point that she went to that neighborhood in Bombay dressed up like a prostitute and took pictures of herself and as she put it spammed Gitu the director's messages with pictures of herself that's how much she wanted to play this part 
it felt like I don't know, like Oliver Twist, like Dickens or something, because you have this innocent child who is all of a sudden thrust into this world of child sex trafficking, prostitution, gangs, drugs. It, it's you're seeing through this innocent eyes of this child, this this world, and the searches for this brother. I mean, big spoiler, it's, it is Nim and Paulie who never admits that he's the brother because he's so ashamed at how much he has changed. At a certain point, about halfway, then we get a flashback sequence with Nim and Pauly, and then there's a character, Amir, played by Roshan Matthew. Yes, Roshan Matthew from the recent Coppola, uh, here playing a mute who only speaks in sign language and Niven's character is the only one that can really understand what he is saying uh, with his hand signs. It was amazing. Uh, so Gitu said in, the, the, uh, in an interview and also in this TIFF Q&A, how did she choose Niven Polly for this part? Well, one reason is that he's her neighbor. They live in the same apartment complex. I think she did ask another actor that she had in mind first to didn't want to do this project, uh, but she had been talking to Niven about it as she was writing it. This was a film. She wrote the script with the help of the script writers lab at Sundance Film Festival. Um, I was actually in the room where she won an award for her script, Global Cinema Award uh, from the script writers lab in I think it was 2016. It must not have been ready for Sundance because I'm sure they would have wanted it to premiere there as her first film did, Liar's Dice. But it was a time, the time of the year was in September for the Toronto International Film Festival. Amazing film. The subject matter is one that I was not expecting. It's a gritty film. It has elements. I mean, there's a car chase, you know, a dramatic violent scene with a drug heist kind of a part of it. But what captivated me was not that part of the film, but the love story in the film, in the flashback, the child character and what this child character goes through, but especially Niven's performance. It's just, career best. I'm saying it again. I am blown away. Okay. You have to see this film. If you live in the U.S., I believe it's playing at the New York Indian Film Festival, I think in August, So, th which is all online at this point. So there may be a way to see the film through that. And if you're in India, again, it's finally streaming on Z5. I've been waiting forever for this movie. Uh, and it totally lived up to all of my expectations. Okay, again, warning, do not go past this point if you have not seen this film. Just enjoy it, knowing nothing. Just go in, know it is fantastic. Okay, I really didn't know what was, I mean, it's the kind of thing when you're watching this film and you see the seeds that were planted, the little clues along the way just went over my head until that moment when Mola is in the room with Newman Pauly is by in Mumbai and has gotten her period like I never saw that she was transgendered <laughs> or he I should say he I never saw that he was transgender through the whole thing all the clues were there uh, the shower you know sequence at the orphanage wow uh, like amazing setting us up, uh, showing this child's journey of wanting to be himself. And then the ending of the film is, it's bittersweet. You see that Mullah is forced into a brothel, which is just what her brother was afraid of, and has the long hair and the makeup and everything. But the childhood romance, the one that this first discovered that, that uh, you know, she was not born a boy, um, seeks her out. And so that friendship, that romance is still maybe there, uh, one bright spot in this, uh, in Mullah's life. Nim and Polly, I think he just, 
gave so much of himself to this part. How much this film was like Moonlight, it reminded me of Brokeback Mountain in the same way that you have a star, Brokeback Mountain, and you have a star taking on a role of a homosexual and Nim and Paul, like who else but Nim and Polly, that scene when they've ha had that moment in the water and then they're gonna go back to the room and he's getting ready and he has that big innocent smile, beaming smile into the mirror. Like it was like, that was the Niven, the sweet Niven from Bangalore days, from Prabhupada, whatever. But otherwise it was so different than anything else. He was so stern, so harsh, so like drug addled, whatever, an addict. Wow. The, the scenes between uh, Roshan Matthew and Niven, the tenderness, like Niven can, turn on this light within himself to show that he's falling in love when he's acting a scene and it was all there and it was so beautiful. One quibble I have with the film is I think they used natural light extensively. They were trying to film with small cameras in the neighborhoods in Mumbai. The director said in an interview she just had the characters kind of mouth, mouth what they were saying and then because they were just filming it amongst all the real people in the neighborhood and then they you know did it in dubbing later. So they, they didn't make a big presence with the big lights and big whatever. So the negative of that is that so many scenes were really dark. I mean I, I don't think I was watching with the best copy of the film and I wish I could have seen it in a theater. I think some of these moonlit scenes in the water on the island, I wanted to see the full expressions of their faces and it was hard. It was hard to see but it may just have been that I'm watching it on a laptop on not the best copy. But I'm still thrilled that I saw it. Oh my gosh, this, this director, uh, I have not seen her previous work. I'm so excited to see what she's going to do next. She hinted that she's working on a multi-star that's going to be some kind of a gritty gangster film. I'm all about it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what she's going to come up with next. This was an incredible script, incredible performances all around by everyone. Uh, I can't wait to watch this again. I want to kind of one, now that I know what I, <laughs> you know, what you discover, the secrets about each character, I want to see it again and see how, like, like she dropped those breadcrumbs for us along the way to give us clues as to what was really going on inside each character's heart. Wow. Uh, let me know what you thought about this film in the comments below. So many people, so many viewers have been begging me to watch this film and I kept saying, I can't, it's not playing here, it's not on streaming, you know, if you want me to give it to me and finally someone did give it to me and thank you, thank you, thank you. Follow me on Twitter at PerdaisyYT, subscribe here to Perdazy Reviews and if you hit the bell when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer reaction or film review.